There are a few different ways to change the hue of areas within a photo, but keeping the texture intact, such as layer blending modes or selective hue adjustments. When you're changing the eye color though, there are specific considerations to look at. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to selectively adjust the hue, saturation, gamma levels, and overall levels to change the model's eyes from brown to blue. You can follow along with this specific photo if you're watching this shortly after I upload the tutorial by going to iStockPhoto.com and downloading the weekly free photo. However, if you're watching it later, any portrait will do. Go ahead and open up the JPEG, and we just have the Layers palette open here. If you don't have that open, just go to Window Layers. I'm going to press Control J right away to duplicate the layer. You can press Command J on the Mac. That way we work on a duplicated layer. In case we think the effect later is too strong, you can change the opacity or the blending mode of that specific area, but it's just a habit I have of working on a new layer. First thing we want to do is make a selection of the eyes. And there's many different ways to make selections. You can try the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, uh, the quick selection tool. With this one, it's kind of round and we need to uh, make pretty curved selections. So if you just go to the pen tool and make sure the second option is selected at the top, we're going to create a path. If you just click and then click and drag, Click and drag. Make kind of a circular selection here. Alright. And you also want to do create the same one over here. Kind of a circular one. We can always adjust this later if we want. I think this one's looking okay. What we'll do is right click over it, go to make selection. We are going to want to have a little bit of a feather, so I'll say 1.5 for this example and press OK. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and save this selection because we're going to need to load it again. Go ahead and go to select, save selection. We're going to call this eye selection and OK. Now in the layers palette we have this top layer selected with this area selected here. And by the way if you want to add any to this you can adjust it later like if you have the lasso tool you can just hold shift click and drag around it to grab more but I think ours looks OK. Um, of course you need to save the selection again if you do the, do that. So while we have these two I selected, go ahead and we're going to create a new adjustment layer. Just create that by clicking the bottom of the layers palette. We're going to go to exposure, bring the gamma correction over to the left a little bit. The reason we do this, we're going to lighten a little bit because the blue eyes are a little bit lighter. Don't want to overdo it. I have mine at 1.45, I think that'll work for this example. Depending on your photos, lighting levels and color, here's may vary. Now if you notice we don't have our selection anymore, that's why I saved the selection. So click on this top layer again, go to select, load selection, and let's go ahead and select eye selection and then click OK. Now we're going to create another adjustment layer. We create adjustment layers because then we can adjust the opacity of them later if we want, if a certain effect is too strong. So go ahead and go to hue saturation, click colorize, and we're just going to create this kind of Subtle blue here. Notice the saturation can be really exaggerated if we go over to the right, so we want to bring it over to the left just a little bit. And you can adjust the lightness if you want. I think this one looks okay, just at zero. And finally, click on the top layer again. Go to Select, Load Selection, Eye Selection. Then we're going to create another adjustment layer with levels. Just bring in these darks a little bit up, shadows and highlights, and bring the gray and the midtones over just to the right a little bit, just trying to get that right balance of the levels. And then there we go. We have a nicely done effect 
realistic looking blue eyes. And if you think any part of it's overdone, you can adjust up here the opacity of any of these effects, but I think it looks good overall for this example. Thanks.